Nagbabalik po ang debit hour. Sa ating talaturoan po ay tatampok natin ang ikatlong module sa asignaturang agham para sa Season 5. Sa module po ito ay makakasama natin bilang teacher presenter si Ginang Dina Galande ng Lazaro Francisco Elementary School na tatalakay sa araling separation of mixtures. Tunghaya na po natin ang talaturoan. Good evening everyone. I am Dina S. Galande, Master Teacher 1, your teacher presenter from Lazaro Francisco Elementary School. Before we proceed to our topic, let us have a short review. I have here a delicious halo-halo. What do you think are the ingredients that are mixed together to have a delicious halo-halo? When you prepare halo-halo, you mix white beans, red beans, ube, black plant, carbanzos, sago, nata de coco, and many other things you wish to mix together. You top it with cross ice, evaporated milk, and you may even put a scoop of ice cream. Let us now observe the halo-halo. Can you distinguish the red beans from the white beans? Yes! Can you distinguish the milk from the cross eyes? Yes. Why? The ingredients in the halo halo do not change in color and taste. They retain their properties. When the combined substances are not evenly spread throughout, as in halo halo, the mixture is said to be heterogeneous. You can see the different parts or the pieces of the mixtures easily. There are also mixtures of liquids like rubbing alcohol, 70% alcohol and 30% water. Mixtures of gases like air, oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen and others. Mixtures of solid in liquid like powder juice in water and mixtures of gas in liquid like carbon dioxide in soft drinks where the combined substances are evenly spread throughout. Such mixtures are said to be homogeneous. You cannot see the different parts or the pieces of the mixtures. Mixtures are the physical combination of two or more substances. No new substance is formed as a result of the said combination. Physical combination means that the parts of a mixture retain their original composition and properties. In other words, no new substance is formed as a result of the said combination. And that different parts can be readily be observed. For example, a salad is a mixture because the ingredients have not changed. The original vegetable are still the same vegetables. The vinegar is retained. The sugar is retained. The salt is retained. The taste and color of each ingredient is retained and you can readily recognize one from another. Physical combination also means that the ingredients can be mixed in varying amounts. For example, chicken noodle soup can be made with more water or little water. Coffee can be mixed with more sugar or less sugar. Can the materials in the mixture be separated? So, how can this be done? There are different ways of separating the components of mixture. One is the mechanical separation. This method is probably the easiest process of separating the components of a mixture. Separating the ingredients of a fruit salad with a fork is an example I have here a mixture of sand and iron filing. 
how can I separate this mixture? I will place a magnet over the mixture. What do you observe? Yes, you're right. The magnet attracts the magnetic metal like iron filings from the non-magnetic side. This method is called magnetic separation. The process makes use of magnet to separate the magnetic component from non-magnetic one. The magnet attracts the magnetic metal like iron filings from the non-magnetic sun. Magnetic separation is now used for separating metals from glasses in some factories. But before we continue, we will pause for a while for some reminders.